Yo, what's going on, fellas? I want to go ahead and dive right into a new little scheme I'm throwing together to really just annoy the hell out of my opponent. And I think you guys will see that this is a true demonic scheme. Um, basically, this is going to be out of the Pass Balance Playbook, uh, or Spread, right? It's called Spread normally, if you were to look it up on, say, Huddle, or um, if you play Mutt, though, it's going to be called Pass Balanced. So with that being said... Um, we're going to be using the split offset formation, and uh, in this game, this first game, I have three receivers out on the field, and you'll see that I'm trying to sit here and pass a little bit, and uh, you don't really have the, the AP to really do this effectively with three receivers, so in the next clip, you'll see that I actually just sub in uh, three tight ends at the receiver spots that all have short in elite, which is Kittle, um, Taysom Hill, and Owen Daniels. So those will be my three receivers, and um, obviously in the backfield we've got King Henry and Quad Father, and we're really just being truly demonic when it comes to this run game, and let me kind of explain that a little bit in better detail. So you see that I just ran the RPO peak zone bubble. These are really good because of the fact that normally when you throw to these running backs, like when you throw to Quad Father, when you throw to Derrick Henry they lose their freight train ability, right? Or I think it's the, it's actually called quad father on him, but it loses the ability to break that first tackle. However, on these RPO bubbles, the they're registering almost as runs. So you'll see that throughout the course of these couple clips, you'll see that you're throwing to these guys and they're still breaking those, those first initial tackles, right? Um, this might actually be a good example of it. It's right there, perfect, right? So you see that... Um, it's activating that freight train-ish ability on these players. So not only are you able to glitch out their defense, you know, with the bubble, you're forcing their user to sprint in that direction. And in the next clip, you'll see a, a better example of that. But basically, you're always taking your opponent's user and moving it out of the way. Um, and if not, you know, you can set up little pass-route combos that you just saw right there. Um, and it really just... it put your opponent's user just in a complete bind when it comes to, you know, do you guard the pass? Do you guard the run? Do you have defense for the bubble? Because a lot of people simply aren't going to. Um, and they're just going to have their user going all over the place, right? So, I mean, you see, even here with, like, me throwing an incomplete pass right there, like, your opponent's user has no idea what's coming. Like, the motion Y cross, you can put the running back on the in route like that, and then you've got three crossers over the middle of the field. Um, so anybody that double mables you or maybe be trying, maybe trying to set up like a blitz, but then also still have people, um, you know, guarding the sidelines, you, you can't, there's another perfect example of, uh, me throwing the bubble and it registering that quad father ability. So, um, overall, I'm going to break down this entire scheme from a passing and running standpoint on the website. It'll be in membership tips. Um, probably tonight, we'll see if I can get it out tonight, if not for sure tomorrow, but, um, overall, I, I think this scheme can really be just an absolute headache for your opponent to defend. Um, here's a, the next game that I played, and this one is what I think you'll start seeing a lot of people do with, with, with this scheme, is you'll see people actually, you know, try to, you know, take away the bubble and stuff with their user. So you see how he's bringing his players down. You have identifier. So you can see exactly where his user is and that he's going to try. I'm going to say try very loosely. He's going to try to take away that bubble because if he doesn't play it, then he's screwed. And if he, you know, if he does play it manually with his user, then we can just abuse everything else. I mean, look, this guy is just nonstop. He's on his defensive tackle right here because he's just clicking around my man dives at me, gets a nice pass interference, or not pass interference, roughing the passer. Um, but you'll see that through the course of this game. Like, with him trying to, uh, you know, always play the bubble, and I've got a fake bubble to the right, I've got a bubble going back to the weak side. Um, like, I can essentially dictate where his user's going to go. See, once again, user goes all the way over there. He's a bit late. I do throw the bubble. We pick up a nice little, nice little bit of yards right there. Um, and... This is still in the beginning phases. Like, this is not a scheme that I have definitely perfected by any means. Uh, the King Henry card just came out today. And, um, yeah, just something that I, I thought it would be really fun to annoy my opponent with. And as you'll see, um, 
you can really dictate a lot of what's going on with your opponent. Here's another example, right? He thinks the bubble's going to come to the right. He's playing on Woodson. I do the fake bubble to the other side. He clicks on, tries to click on to the other side, gets stuck, and we simply just walk into the end zone running the ball. Um, now, is it completely broken in the sense of, like, does it need to be patched or anything like that? I, I don't know. I don't think so. Um, here you see me audibling down to the goal line. This is what I was talking about earlier. He has no idea how to defend this, and truthfully, I don't know how to defend this. So, um, yeah, you saw he just audible to zero blitz or whatever, spinner, whatever it was, and um, hope for the best. We pick, still pick up three yards. Um, here you go. Once again, he's going to play the bubble. We're going to hand the ball off. And, yeah, I mean, you, you really, you, you can just basically pick and choose what you want to do. And your opponent's really gonna have no idea what what to do. And truthfully, I don't know how I don't know how I would defend this. I'd probably just run spinner and hope for the best. But um, yeah, I mean, as you see, Derrick Henry, this new King Henry card, pretty glitchy with this scheme, might be the best scheme out there.